to start cutting trees. I'm just going to start dropping them. And uh, with the temperature and the time of the year, it'll be easier just to go back and cut rounds and cut all the limbs off and start a fire and get everything cleaned up. Um, pretty much, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to clear from over here all the way down over there and up. So I plan on, we're going to eventually build a house right over in this area with a walkout basement overlooking, well, right directly behind us is the pond, so you'll be able to see the pond. And then a, a shop eventually, probably first, like right up here. So got to start cleaning the trees up or we're never going to get started. Cut up a bunch of smaller trees in about 15, 20 feet in the Made a little bit of progress, but it's time consuming. Start making a dent though. Been working on clearing it, but we're clearing over to here, over to that bridge over there, and all that. You can hear the saws running. I got the Amish moved over to where we're going to put in our shop and house eventually, overlooking the ponds. So. They don't like to be on video or take pictures, so I have to respect that. Um, I mean, I can get them from a distance, but they don't want it. They don't want their faces, you know. So, they're dropping all these trees, and I'm marking everything up for them a little bit better. The Amish are clearing uh, more of our area over there. Dropping trees like crazy, and... Uh, Cutting the firewood up for me and any usable logs are skidding out so I can sell to the lumber mill. They have two horses that they're dragging the, uh, the logs out with. There's the horses skidding out a log. There it goes. So it's about day five of the Amish clear and you can see their wagon right here with the logs on it. They have it ready to go. They have the two horses. They'll be here and unloaded in two minutes and hooked onto that thing going. They're taking this wood down to my wood pile over here. The ponds are back there where that clearing is. We're clearing to the left. They still have a good bit of trees to clear and to the right. Uh, shop i'm putting a shop over here our house over there and this is going to be a real wide driveway coming in so these big trees here they're going to take but they're going to they're going to take the logs and skid them out and i'm going to have somebody come and bid them on the bigger trees so they're about five or six days of work here they're pretty fast and efficient so here's the area that the amish have been clearing for us that i marked out there's a couple trees that the driveway's right back there out to the road but they left a couple of the big trees standing they're gonna drop them last um, but we have to clear a few more trees over that way it's going back some more and then this is the clearing out to the ponds this will be the view eventually this is what we're uh, we're trying to capitalize on this view. So this was probably about two weeks of work from the Amish. I think they got all these trees knocked down and cut all the small stuff into firewood for me. Firewood rounds. I got to split it all. So it's coming along pretty nice. They're real fast and efficient. Dad, three boys, and two horses in a wagon. So the Amish finished up today. Just uh, clearing brush. The Amish threw all the limbs into the woods on both sides and we're burning them all in the uh, future driveway. Uh, just popping some stumps. You can see a couple laying back there. Digging the smaller stumps out. I've been painting them because they're hard to see like these little guys. Those will pop right out no problem. You can see another one right up there. They're just just marking them and uh, you can see a few over there and burning these limbs up. Yep. 
you'll see a big difference here in a couple of weeks when all the limbs are gone. It'll just be a nice clearing and then the stumps and then grade some land. Getting there. This is the kind of work that I love doing, cleaning up trails and stuff like this, but I never have time. We haven't been able, this is a four wheeler trail through the clear cut. So the trail comes up through here and we haven't been able to drive through here because all these just tree branches that are a little bit too big to pull out by hand. I mean, and I have had the machine on so many jobs, I haven't had the time, <clears throat> I haven't had the time to come work on this and I don't have time right now. I, got, I just changed the oil, I gotta go to work. I'll probably work on this in the morning if it's not raining or have my guy come and do it. But I wanna get this trail so we can drive through the, this trail just goes right through here and there's not much on it, but there's a few limbs here and there. And uh, I wanna get all this brush picked up. It's just a mess in here. Get this all burnt and get these stumps out of here this winter so we could at least brush hog this or whatever until we're ready to build. But I love doing this kind of work. So we were burning down this pile. The wind picked up a little bit today, but it's pretty dry. But this tree just off, I didn't want to cut it down because it's hollow and I don't want to get killed by it. But so I'm kind of glad it caught on fire. You can see it burning up there. So it should come down pretty soon. I'm just letting that go. I'll put it out here in a second with the shovel. But that tree kind of dangerous so letting the fire bring it down is better than me cutting it down and taking the chances of it all collapsing this is all under control um i was a volunteer firefighter and uh, i can put out a decent sized brush fire with just a shovel and no water but i'm just letting these leaves and stuff burn but as you can see up there basically just a torch there's so many holes in the tree trunk which you probably can't see from the lighting um the air the air blown across is sucking air through all these holes from woodpeckers and stuff up through the middle and just feeding that fire up there so kind of cool Got the whole family out here cleaning up today. The kids don't enjoy working, but they enjoy playing. Burning all our cardboard. We have always have a huge pile of cardboard, so got a bunch of sticks stacked on there with the family and the mini excavator. It's a little wet. It rained this morning, so it might not burn very well. Kids are fun. So this is the area that I was looking at bulldozers for. I have all these stumps that got to get pushed out. I du I've dug one out up there. I've been digging out a few um, here and there, some of the smaller ones. But all the way back through here, we this was all wooded. Last year we had the Amish clear cut it and uh, they left all the brush off to the sides, which I'm cleaning up now. I got the up, up by the road here pretty clean, but down back in there, it widens out at those trees right there, probably about 50 yards, it, it opens up, 
both directions and then the ponds are back behind there uh, a lot of stumps a lot of them are smaller though so the dozer would push them real easy I can dig them out the smaller ones with the the mini here it's just time consuming but I can chip away at it like I, I just haven't had the machine here it's always on jobs so I got the machine here the weather's warming up a little bit and finally able to start chipping away at it I got about six stumps out to this afternoon I had to do a job this morning but now we got to go run the kids around but I just want all that brush cleaned up put in stacked in piles burn it down get these stumps out of here and then start the bulldozer would be nice for grading this too it's a lot of up and down little moguls that need all just need tracked in leveled out get the driveway put in here so we can uh, start construction on our our dream shop here at the uh, in the summer and the fall all right so you guys haven't seen any of this yet it's all in previous videos but this is where I'm at right now. Still clearing, cleaning. I'm just cleaning all these tree limbs up, getting them burnt, and digging out the smaller stumps. And then I'm going to have to get a bigger machine, either rent or buy, and uh, get the bigger stumps out and get this all graded out, get the shop pad level. There's a lot of, a lot of tree limbs here. I never, 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 I